Hey, what's up my fellow prodigies, Prodigy Jay here, or just call me Jay, and today I'm going to teach you guys on how to make scripts for your videos, as this will help those of you who have trouble speaking or may not sound confident, because when watching a video, you don't want to watch a guy who sounds like they don't know what they're talking about. Now, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, because I do like to upload quality videos for everyone to enjoy, and go follow me on Twitter while you're at it, and shout out to Astro for the classy comment on my previous video, but if you leave a comment on the video, you have a chance to get a shout out, and guys, let's see if we get 40 likes in today's video, because I do appreciate it but without further ado let's get into today's video now some of you guys may be curious on what scripting is well in a matter of fact that's what I'm doing right now I'm reading off a script that I typed for this video and I get a lot of messages asking how I memorize everything that I say in my videos and all I gotta say is I make scripts now some of you guys may feel biased to the idea of scripted videos which you shouldn't as a lot of bigger and smaller youtubers do it now there's five reasons why not 13 reasons why I script my videos number one scripts allow me to go over everything precisely and correctly as I know exactly what I'm gonna say number two it's easy for me to edit as I record in parts number three scripts help make my videos sound more professional and confident on what I say and um um, oh yeah, number four, scripts help eliminate the uhs and ums in the video, as they can make the speaker sound uncertain of themselves. And for my final reason on why I use scripts in my videos, is because I hate memorization and it's hard for me to think of things to say off the top of my head. But now that we get that out of the way, let's talk about the structure of the script. And by the way, you can use any document program to type your script on, such as Google Drive, Microsoft Word, but for all my scripts, I type on a normal notepad program, mostly because it's simple, my scripts have a low file size, and because I can work on scripting when I'm offline. Line. Now one of the first things that you should do when making a script is to type some notes as this will help organize your thoughts while making the script. And the things that would go into the notes section would be important key points in your video, the details that go along with them, and any research that you may have done. For example, on my How to Grow on YouTube in 2017 script, I typed out important key points in my notes so I could organize my thoughts better, which helped me type the body of my scripts. Now I know some of you may struggle with this at first, as there's not a lot of people who feel comfortable typing a lot and there's other people who just aren't really good at note taking. Well here's a little tip that I can give to you guys, if you're stuck on what to type in your notes, try freestyling it and type the first things that pop into your head when you think about your topic. For example, in my Growing on YouTube script, the first thing that popped into my head was the word professional, and when I thought professional, I then thought nice or catchy name, which going on, you start to see the pattern. So if you ever get a brain fart when typing notes on your script, try following my tip and hopefully it will work out. Now the next thing that you're going to need to work on is introduction, which is going to be where you introduce yourself and talk about certain info describing the video. Now if you want, you can add an intro and in beginning your video if you want, as this does help with branding for your channel, but I would like to note that an intro shouldn't be too long and at max last 12 seconds, which is the length of my intro, but if you don't want an intro in your videos and you you just want to get straight into the point that's fine too but talking more about the introduction you need to introduce yourself in some way or form so you get a good impression from incoming viewers which there are multiple ways of doing this i can range from a casual what's up guys to a completely random introduction which most of the time can be a quick skit but depending on the type of content that you do that'll depict what type of introduction suits your channel for example for me i try to keep it chill with hey what's up my fellow prodigies prodigy here and so on now it's your choice if you want to call your subscriber something that's meaningful because this basically makes them known as your family and causes your subs to build a bond with you but if you're not a fan of that it's fine now right after you introduce yourself you need to talk about what the video is about and include any more information that the audience needs to know for example in the beginning of my video i said that i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make scripts for youtube videos with that being followed up with details and the reason why you should learn it also in the introduction don't be afraid to ask your subs to like comment and subscribe but do it in a way that gives them a reason to for example in the beginning of my video i said now if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because i do like to upload quality videos for everyone to enjoy which i ask for people to subscribe but at the same time give a reason to why they should now for my final tip on the introduction try to make it short as possible with the max length of your intro being 40 45 seconds. Reason being, most people can't watch your video to learn or get entertained in some way or form, not to watch two minutes of you going through your introduction advertising every single link that you have. And I have been guilty of doing that in the past, and I kind of still take the cake for having my intro lasting nearly a minute or so. Reason being that my intro and the startup of my background music takes up a fair amount of my introduction time. But I don't worry too much on that because I just make sure that my intro lasts less than a minute. So overall, try to make your intro detailed, but at the same time, not last like a decade. No big 
get that out of the way let's talk about the most important part of the video the body now the body is gonna be what everyone clicked on your video to see and this is where all your gathered information and or research is shown and if it's bad your video is bad plain and simple now during this part of the script you need to make sure that all your information is organized and structured correctly because if all your information is unorganized then your video is gonna look unprofessional and the viewer is gonna leave now if you watch my content before you would know that I take my time with my videos and I make sure that I include as much detail as possible because the more insight you give into a certain topic the more the viewer will learn after watching your video and I can't exactly tell you too much information about making a good body for your script because everyone's bodies on their scripts are gonna differ from one another depending on how much information and or research they've added to the notes section of the script so my biggest tip for having a good body for your script is to obtain a lot of information research and details on your topic and add them to your notes section then add to your body and if you make sure to include a lot of information in the body then you're guaranteed to have a good video now for a final aspect of our script you're gonna need to call the action henceforth you're making your outro now during the call the action this is where you're gonna tell your viewers what to do and this can range from liking commenting subscribing to even promoting a referral code or a product and during the call the action you want to follow my tip from before and give people a reason to like comment and subscribe because if you just tell someone to like your video without a reason Reason, they're most likely going to deny it now for example in my growing on YouTube script outro I put comment down below if any of these tips help you out and learning how to grow fast on YouTube which if you want to increase engagement on your videos ask your viewers a question to answer instead of just saying make sure to comment because I swear I've seen many small channels do this mistake of asking others to just leave a comment on their videos and not change it up so they make their videos more engaging and I got this tip from a guy called Nick Nimmin and his version of how to make a YouTube script long ago and this tip really helped me out for my engagement ratings as I usually have equal to or more comments and likes on my videos. So if you guys want a different perspective on how to make a script for YouTube, I'll link his video down in the description as he makes some nice quality videos. But as we near the end, I still need to give my last two overall tips on how to make a script for YouTube. First one being that you need to make sure that you revise your script after typing it all out. Meaning make sure you at least read through the whole script at least once or twice and practice commentating it to make sure that it sounds good to you. And for the final tip for all of you who are new to making scripts for YouTube make sure you do not sound like a robot okay now I know it's a weird thing to read stuff word for word for a video but once you practice it to make sure your voice sounds more natural and especially the tone of it but you'll get the hang of it and I know I'm not perfect either but I do make sure to have my own style of commentating for example as I'm reading off my script I make sure to improvise some words and act like I'm talking to someone right then and there because this helped me from sounding like a guy with no feeling and that's one of the most important tips I can give to you guys you can easily type the most perfect script with the best detail in the world but it would sound bad because your tone of voice sounds like a guy who's bored of life with nothing to live for depressed from the lack of quality on their channel but overall, if you follow the majority of my tips to make sure you practice your scripting skills, I'm positive that you make your videos sound way more professional. But I think that's gonna wrap it up. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but if you guys can, drop a like, I do appreciate the support, and go follow me on Twitter, could do like the tweet out daily. Also, if you guys can, comment down below if you ever made a script for YouTube, or give me your overall opinion on the use of scripts in YouTube videos, as a lot of YouTubers do it now, and we could do love responding to everyone's comments. And also, guys, I'd like to thank you all for the amount of support that I got on my recent budget setup video, as you guys passed my like over 40 likes and instead give me over 50 likes instead so thank you and i'll make sure to come out with another budget setup video soon and last thing if you want to leave me a question with the hashtag q a because i plan on doing another q a video soon but anyways thanks for watching and let's do get 40 likes in today's video now subscribe for more content in the future and i'll see you guys in the next one